Hello and happy Friday. Welcome to the channel. This is Fridays with Brandon and today is episode number 133 of Fluke Fridays. What we're going to go over today is the new II9115. No, the new II915, not 115, the II915. So um, I'm going to go over this today. This is a new uh, acoustic imager from Fluke. And I'm going to go over specifically what makes this different than the II910 and its predecessors. And we're going to go through that and some of the creature comforts that they've added so that you understand what you're getting with your significant investment of, you know, just under $30,000 US. So let's jump into it. Okay, here we go. So what's the difference between the II910 and the II915? Well... We've got several things that I noticed right away. One is the screen is slightly larger, better resolution, so it does look give you a nicer image on the screen than the original II910 and I900. It looks like the number of microphones is the same, so I don't see any difference there. One thing I did notice on the bottom, a couple different form factors, is you can you now have a tripod mount, quarter inch threaded tripod mount, so you can mount this if you so choose. And with that, a very complimentary uh, feature is you get a second USB-C port. So this one is for charging. So if you're going to have it mounted somewhere, you might want it there long term. And if you did want it there long term, you could plug it into the wall and then it would have the battery would charge while it's put while it's in the device before you always had to pull the batteries out to charge them now you can actually charge the batteries inside the device that's kind of a cool feature this door is not designed any better than it was before in my opinion but i did notice there is a nice o-ring here uh, let me power this thing off okay so there's a, you pull this out you can see this rubber gasket. So you have this nice O-ring. So it definitely, Fluke stepped up their game with this II915 to make it more um, environmentally resistant. So I like seeing that. That is something many customers will maybe not even realize, but will enjoy when they don't get dust and crap in their acoustic imager. Um, other things about it, I guess as far as the form factor, not much else has changed. On the inside though, um, as this fires up, it does have, now we have, we're in the 21st century and we have Wi-Fi capability in this acoustic imager. So what does Wi-Fi capability allow you to do? It allows you to go ahead connect to a local Wi-Fi network or a hotspot, like if you have a hotspot on your phone, and you can upload images to the Fluke Connect Cloud directly from the II915. That is a pretty cool feature, um, and I will go into more detail on how you can do that in another video and really walk you through that. But as we look at the settings, you can see this new Wi-Fi setting, and it's got different things where you can connect to. Uh, personal hotspots or networks and stuff so anyways um, those are I think the big upgrades with the II915 they are more creature comforts than significant upgrades but obviously you do get all of the same features as you would with the II910 so you get your image or video leak queue to estimate how much uh, air leak is costing you PDQ, which is partial discharge in electrical applications, and then MECQ for those roller bearings and conveyors, belts, and things like that. So in the next video, next week, I will talk about and show you exactly what uploading images looks like and how long it takes and just some of my feedback on that. So hope you enjoyed this. I will, if... If Amazon has these for sale, which I don't think they do, I'll have a link to them. If not, I'll have a link to the Fluke website so you can, if you're thinking about getting one, you can check it out. Don't forget to uh, 
call your local Fluke sales guy if you have any questions and or tech support at Fluke is phenomenal. So 1-800-44-FLUKE for that. Other than that, we'll see you next week.